Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy and our in-depth tour of the Ferrari plant with Piero Ferrari. There are many folklore stories about your father and how he motivated the troops. Yes, yes, yes. He was a great motivator of men. Great motivator, very tough with everybody, with all the employees, was demanding really to everybody to work, not 100%, maybe more. But was he just as was he just as tough yes. on you? Yes, more more than everybody else. Really? Because he he he, he didn't want to to show that I, it was a privilege to me to be his son, and uh, make to make to me the, the life easier. Huh? So he wanted to to prove to to the employees that he was very tough with everybody, especially with me. Well, he must be very proud of you now. We we lost Enzo in 1988, Eight. as I recall. Yes. The spirit of, of my father is still here. He's around this factory. The people remember how he was so strong. The, his personality is still around. Really? He was spending every day of his life in the morning in his office in the factory, in the afternoon in his small home in, in the middle of the Fiorano test track. So this was his life. The technology that is developed for the F1, for, for Michael's car and Barrichello's car. Yeah. Talk about how that trickles down into your, your street cars. Many of the technologies coming from Formula One are coming to the street car and the pedal shift, electronic shift gearbox is an idea born in Formula One, born in Ferrari and now is available on street car. You think they can't get any better, yet they do, the 360. The most beautiful car. Everybody yeah. just in awe of this car. But now you bring out the F430, yes. and now everybody says it's, it's even far better, better, far better than the 360. Yes. yes, this is what is the spirit of Ferrari and my father. You, you know the 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 question that everybody was making to my father, uh, Mr. Ferrari, which is the car that you love uh, more, that gave you the uh -huh. Uh -huh. most uh, pleasure. Uh, pleasure that you love of your, of your car you, you made in the past? And the answer was always the same, the next one. The next one. You know, a question I've always wondered about, Ferrari Red, mm -hmm. where, where did it begin? It's, it's a special red color that's copied by so many people, referred to by so many people. What, what was the genesis? When did Ferrari, the Ferrari Red as we know it today, when did that, when did that Ferrari, happen? The color of the Italian racing car at that time, you know, in the 50s and, and before even, you had a national color. Sure. The national color was for Italy, was, was, red. Red. was red. Then when he started to make the Ferrari, he made the, and in fact, the 125, the very first Ferrari, is dark red, very similar to the Alfa Romeo red. Okay. This was following World War II? Yes, okay, 1947. Right but not the same red of Alfa Romeo was using. He made a lighter color, a lighter red. So from that time, Ferrari is... Uh, Has it been the same from that, from that moment? No. More or less. More or less. <laughs> the Formula One now is, uh, is a red which is light, a light red just for TV purpose. <laughs> the way it works. The, the cars are, of course, hand-built and, and a very special process. Can you explain the... The relationship with, in fact, sometimes from father to son, the, the positions in the plant, the, the family atmosphere you have and the, and the dedication your workers have to making these wonderful cars. Ferrari is uh, a, a very special car manufacturer because uh, it's not a mass production, so the automation is a certain level, is not fully automation for car production. Even a quality of life, a very high standard. I've worked in assembly plants all over the world. I have, yes. I have a perspective from, from Asia yes. to Europe to, yes. you know, of course, the U.S. You somehow bring together all the mechanics and the science, the technology, but also nature and the environment. How do you explain that? You will see that we have in our engine facilities, we are, we are machining all the engines produced in Ferrari. You will see some trees inside the... It's unbelievable. The so, <laughs> because we want to say if the, um, the air, the temperature is good for trees, it's good for people. So they can, they can live better. 
and uh, we try to to keep the, this very high standard of uh, of the uh, of the facility of the production facility just to keep the quality of the cars because the quality of uh, of ferrari is is not reached by a massive investment in automatic machine but a massive investment on training people and we go back to the concept we i told before to have team of people team of people working together thank you piero for inviting us into Thank your you. your home away from home really your home <laughs> your your life's work and passion piero ferrari the son of enzo ferrari we're here in marinella italy at the house of ferrari and uh, it's been a really special moment in time when we've been able to capture your thoughts uh, the defining thoughts of what Ferrari is all about. So thank you so much for that. Thank you to you. It was very nice to me to, to talk about Ferrari, my family, my father, and what we are doing.